everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Theo and I come to you from the UK. It's a very hot day today. This is my third video filming. Today is like a filming day so um, yeah I don't know when I'm gonna upload this but um, I've already filmed a sewing video with all the sewing projects that I've done and if you're interested in that it's the factory dress by Merchant and Mills in two different fabrics uh, linen and I don't know what the other fabric is but it's it's a, like a summery fabric and also some face masks. I will link that video down below if you're interested to see that. Then I filmed a knitting projects video with some of the finished projects that I've done and one of them is this one, is the florist tea that um, it's uh, in the testing phase. So if you're interested to test knit it, then let me know and I will send you the pattern to try that. It uses a uh, heavy sport um, weight yarn, two skeins for size um, extra small, small and medium. And obviously if you want a larger size, you just want to add another skein. Um, it's very easy to knit. Also, there will be this uh, raglan cardi uh, car not cardigan, raglan sweater that is waiting for test knitting now. Uh, so those were my finished projects along with the two feral hats. I will pop the link down in the description if you want to see more in depth of um, those patterns and those projects. But now we're going to talk about spinning. And this is the second video I'm talking about spinning. The first one was a um, review of the hand spinning kit by the wool bar. Um, I've been looking into spinning for quite a while now and I had a lot of drop spindles in my Etsy basket because that's where you can find the most beautiful ones. But then I thought maybe I should just go with something cheaper to start with and if I enjoy then I can invest in like more expensive and professional spindles. Uh, so on Amazon I found this kit uh, which came with a spindle and some top yarn and I have here whatever's left. For me to spin i've already done the three other colors and this is the one i'm working now at the moment it smells so shippy <laughs> uh, if you want to see the unboxing video for this i will link it down below but in this video i just want to show you my finished yarn so i have here the three of them the first one i did was this one and i posted a video on Instagram and someone said that it looks really professional but it was the first time I've ever spun yarn and it turned out all right I think I managed to get about 80 meters from this one that's what it I just want to spread it out a bit to see that it's not that even as people think but that's what it looks like it's not focusing is it no anyway um so yeah i've done this it came with four different shades and i'm planning to knit something with them i still don't know what to knit they're single ply i uh i didn't want to ply them because i don't know i'm i'm just a beginner so i'm just learning to spin i don't want to stress myself with plying then i've done the white one as you can see, this one is a bit more uneven and I was thinking, oh my goodness, instead of getting better at this, I'm getting worse. But <laughs> I think it also depends on the top that you're using. This is the third one that I've done. So I have these, these three colors and a brown, which is currently on the spindle. So this is, uh, this is the spindle that came with the, um, with the kit. It has well, like a reasonable amount of spin to it not the best I have to say uh, and I didn't know that until I bought another spindle <laughs> and when I bought another spindle I realized that this is not the best spindle but it's the best if you don't know um, a better one one thing that I had to do to this is cut a little um, slit here 
to put my yarn through because I found that it kept slipping off. Um, but I still love this one. It's my first ever spindle. I will still spin on it. Uh, it's cute and um, I had so much fun spinning these three yarns with it. So yeah, it's perfect to start with. And then once you get better at it, then you can invest in a more expensive spindle. These are the three yarns. And this is the fourth one. And when I finish all three of them, I will knit something with it. And it will be my first ever hand spun yarn knitting project. If that's, I don't know if I said that right. But anyway, let me show you the top. This is the top that, this is what the top looks like that came with it. Um, this one has quite a short staple, I think. I find it that, you know, when you, uh, draft I think it's called it kind of it doesn't draft as as well as the other three but that's what I usually do I draft a little bit and then I spin it so yeah that, that's my wool barn uh, spinning kit with this spindle and then um, what, what I did next is go on John Arben's website and I discovered John Arben's website through Fruity Knitting. I watched one of their podcasts and Andrea was knitting a, a jumper in their Yarnadelic, uh, I think it's DK, DK weight yarn. So she was, she was knitting it in, in their yarn. So they sell yarn, quite a lot of beautiful yarn, um, but they also sell tops. So tops are significantly cheaper than yarns and since i'm a new spinner and i'm excited about spinning then i went all out and got some nice tops and i'll show you all the different ones here um, so this one is the yarnadelic off my hands and i bought 100 grams of this let me show you the beauty here we go can you see all those beautiful colors so they have a navy blue yellow greeny purpley golden different even like a dark dark navy nearly black through it um that is yarnadelic off my hands and i got 100 grams of that and this is 50 grams left because i managed to spin 50 grams look how gorgeous it is you can't really see it much but through the spin through the um through the yarn you can see a little bit of um yellow and green and it's just like a very subtle um mix of colors which i find it really gorgeous and i used my trusty drop spindle for it I did struggle to put 50 grams on it. I found it that once it got to like 40 grams, it was really harder to spin on it. But I powered through because I wanted to have two skeins of 50 grams each. And what I did with my yarn after I finished spinning it, I put it on a knitting knotty. And I would like to thank my dad for making me one. Here it is. It's really, really good. Uh, I wanted to buy one. I couldn't find anywhere to buy. I couldn't buy pipe to make it myself. And obviously I, I don't have the tools to cut it and all that. So I just showed my dad a picture of one and he went ahead and did it. He made the tees himself um, because he couldn't find the right ones for the this pipe. But it, it's just so amazing the way he did it, isn't it? Look, and then he put some wood inside there to hold it together. And what I find good about this is that um, he couldn't find caps or lids for the ends of it. So he just put like this little cut piped on top of it, which makes it, um, you can see through it. But I find that even better because once you put your freshly spun yarn on it, um, the water will go through the pipes and it will sink it at the bottom of your bucket and that will make it make your wool sit in water completely so it's it's a lot better than what i thought to make uh he made it even better than i expected it 
and uh, he said he has a lot more pipe so he will try to make a few more and maybe I can put them in the Etsy shop if any of you are interested in purchasing one but so far I've got my own and it comes apart um, you can twist it like this and it's just gorgeous and I'm so happy so going back to the yarn so once I finish spinning my yarn I put it on my knitting knotty and I don't know what the term is called but I put it in not boiling water but quite hot tap hot tap water with wool soap and I sunk it in there for 15 minutes then I lifted it up squeezed it a little bit put it in cold water again 15 minutes lift it up squeeze it a bit in hot water again and then cold water again so it took it took a bit but it's it's a process I can't it's not felting because you don't felt it but you do something to the yarn that secures the twist so because I didn't want to apply it I wanted it still to be quite strongish yarn so that um, that temperature change from hot to cold from hot to cold it kind of made the twist more secure than just by putting it in soaking it in a bit of hot water um, so then I um, I squeezed it as much as I could and I let it dry on my knitted um, knotty knitty knitty knotty or knitty knotty something like that is called and once it was um, dry, I put it around my Swift and I measured it and I have 195 meters in 50 grams. So it counts as fingering weight yarn. Um, and I've got 50 more grams here to spin together and then I can um, find a project for it. So yeah, that is one of the yarns that I bought. Let me put it back in the bag and they come in this cute uh, compostable uh, bags then another one that um, I really really love and I they don't have this as a spun yarn on their website or I didn't see it they just have it as a top I bought a 200 grams of the Atlantis light and this is a mix of merino Corridale and silk and you can see the beautiful silk the white is the silk in it and then you've got yellows blues greens dark greens like sea sea foamy greens um, and it's so soft I love it and I started spinning it on my new mini spindle this is a lace weight spindle from Kerry spindles and you can find her on Etsy very very fast delivery and as a matter of fact i'm expecting my second spindle from kerry spindles in the post today hopefully it comes it's more like a bigger one to to use for the other tops that i um, want to show you but here is the atlantis spun why isn't it it doesn't want to focus at all here is the atlantis spun i will take um like close-ups of these and um, I'm trying, I mean, I'm not spinning it lace weight. I'm still doing like a very heavy lace or light fingering. Um, but I have 200 grams of that and I'm really excited to create something with this yarn. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? Wow, look at that. Look at that. What I do is take maybe about two feet of um of the top oh it gets tangled in my ring and then i split it like this and then i start drafting a little bit it has quite a long staple um length as you can see the silk is a little bit curly so i draft it and then i spin it i will what i know i promised once i know what i'm doing with this spinning then i will make a video of how i spin but so far i i'm not that good at it so i'm still learning i want to learn well enough to be able to show you so yeah that is my second one atlantis it's just gorgeous and then i also bought i think 
100 grams or 200 grams. Uh, this was uh, my husband's choice. He chose this colorway. It's 200. Viola North Sea. And I think this is... Oh, my, my nose is all itchy now with all the fluff. He chose this color uh, to spin something for him. And maybe I'm going to spin um, like a light, light lace uh, that I can ply together to make a pair of socks. Or maybe I can make a scarf for him. But this one has different blues. Um, navy, light, uh, turquoise blue, uh, and some dark navy and a little bit of white. I really like this, uh, this colorway. He chose it, so I'm excited to see how this is going to spin out. But yeah, th again, I think they have this one uh, uh, as a spun yarn. So if you want to buy the yarn, then go to Viola and choose the North Sea. And you can see uh, the spun yarn from this top. But I wanted to spin, my, spin it myself. I'm so in love with John Arban's website now. They probably get tired of me tagging them in my all my Instagram posts, but they're so kind. They always reply to my stories. Um, so yeah, that's my third one. And then I wanted to get a like a jumper weight uh, yarn because I want to knit a jumper for myself or like a cardigan as a um, hand spun yarn. And I bought this one. I think. It's in the color juniper. I can't remember, but I really loved it. It's this one. Her Harvest Hues in the color juniper. And I chose 300 grams of this. It's quite a big chunk. But look at that beauty. The green is, uh, as you can see, green is um, the main color and then also blue. And it's got some almost black but this one has a bigger contrast of colors so i'm thinking when it spins you'll be able to see kind of like a two ply almost of blue and greens together uh, i think this might be corydale I, I don't remember but i will um I will pop down below the links to all these tops as a top and as a yarn so you can go and see what they look like. But I really like the, the, the way this one, Harvest Hues, looks. They smell nice. So yeah, those are my tops for spinning. And uh, I, as you can see, I've got quite a lot of spinning to do. Now, I'm not gonna lie, uh, I've got a turkey spindle coming as well from Galena. Uh, Carrie Cherry, I think she's on Etsy. Um, so I've never tried a turkey spindle, but I want to try that. And also I had a look at the like spinning wheels and they're very, very expensive. So maybe I can make it into a... Um, if I spin all this yarn and make my sweater and I keep up with the spinning, maybe I can save and buy a spinning wheel. Who knows? I really, really like the Ash for Kiwi 3. That's the, the one that I, I like the best. I find it um, really beautiful to look at and also uh, easy to use. I've seen a few videos of how to use it. And I think it's because, you know, you... You like do the spinning with your hand, like drafting the yarn, and you you also do the um, spinning of the wheel with your feet. So it kind of it doesn't count as exercise, but it's not like just sitting there and moving your um, wrists as knitting. So you know you kind of have to stand straight, and then I don't know, I don't know why I'm rambling about. But anyway, uh, one more thing I wanted to show you. So. Lynn is the owner of Kerry Spindles. When she sent me this little tiny spindle, look how tiny it is. It's so cute. Uh, she also sent me a little bit of top on it. So he had a, or a roll egg, I think he was, with a little bit of yarn spun on it already, which I found it really nice because if you just start spinning, then she's already put the uh, yarn on it. So you just need to keep on spinning from there if you're a beginner. 
and um, this is what I made from that it was just a tiny bit of top but you know enough to to play with and I spun two uh, no I spun it all into very thin lace and then I plied it and I don't know if you can see how it plied maybe I'll take a close-up of this as well but uh, plying it was so simple so maybe I will ply some more yarn with my spindle but yeah that is all my spinning um, for the last two weeks I have my spindles in this beautiful um, jug that a friend of mine gave me and it's waiting for this one is waiting for um, his brother and then I've got the Turkish one coming in the post as well hopefully by the end of the month and then I have four spindles so exciting isn't it <sighs> the joys of life so now I'm going to um, go and work on my uh, yell cardigan and then when I feel tired of looking at charts I will do some spinning and just relax for the day because tomorrow I'm back at work so yeah thanks for watching I hope that you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click the little bell that notifies you every time I upload a video and yeah thanks for watching and let me know in the comments down below if you've been spinning and there's some fluff flying around uh, if you've been spinning or if you like knitting with the hand spun yarn so yeah anything you can just comment down below thanks for watching i will see you in my next one bye